Konnichiwa. Hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my recent shopping haul. Some things have been released for a while now, and I don't know what it is, but sometimes I just sleep on stuff and then get them later. So we're going to be going through just everything that I've been buying. So if you're new here and you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos. And as usual, my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is not the place for you. I'm a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this mouth so keep that in mind while you're watching so if you guys are interested in my shopping haul here then just stay tuned so I feel like I do this in every video like in the beginning I always tell you guys like what I've been going through the week and how I've been feeling and today um, if I sound a little off or like low on energy it's because something really weird has been happening all day to me um, every time I stand up I'm like really dizzy my eyes are out of focus all the time and they're always like I don't know um, not moving but like I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but today has just been a really weird day for me and my heart is racing like crazy. Every time I stand up, I lose my balance. I'm just like all off the walls. Like I'm just like helter skelter right now. I don't know what the hell's going on with my body, but I knew that I needed to film a video. So we are here today. I'm gonna do my best to just be myself, but if I'm a little down, that is why. So I believe this is my first shopping haul of 2020. So one thing I always do is I shop for things to do a video on and I put it aside and then I have this stuff that accumulates and then I'm just like, wait, why don't I do a shopping haul? Because I have so much shit here that I can share with you guys and let you guys know like what I'm buying and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's just get into uh, what I've been buying. So I made a recent purchase from Ulta and I got the Ordinary. Um, items. Now, one of the products that I have here is the 100% plant derived squalane. Now, my husband actually really loves using this because it helps hydrate his face. I've also noticed that as he's been using this, I haven't noticed as much breakouts on his face through the entire winter. This was actually helping me stay a lot more hydrated than just the rosehip oil that I've been using. So I had to get a re-up because uh, we are almost out of that. The second ordinary product I got is something that has been circulating the internet for like ever since this product came out. This is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. This is that mask that makes you look like fucking Carrie the movie where your face is all red. I actually did this mask yesterday because I was kind of putting everything in my makeup room, getting it ready for today's video. I had just gotten out of the shower and I was like, mm -hmm why not try to put it on? So I actually use this. Surprisingly, I really enjoyed the way it felt because there was a little bit of a tingly sensation. So to me, I know that it's definitely working doing something to my face. I noticed that a lot of the, um, I don't even know what to call these, but it's like cystic acne, but it's really, really deep under the skin. It's really hard and it's not like a really big bump. It's a really tiny bump, like a bunch of little tiny blackheads that are stuck in be uh, beneath the skin. And I noticed after I used this mask and like wash it off a lot of them came to the surface which to me is really really crazy because these bumps have been here for months some have been there for years the only time I ever noticed that they were completely gone was when I was on Accutane probably because it sucks everything from the inside out and like tries to purge it but this is the only thing that has actually been able to bring those bumps to the surface so I'm a little like wowed about that. I'm really excited to just keep trying this out. You're not supposed to use this any more than two times a week and so I'm going to try to follow that. I get really excited about these kind of products and try to use them as often as possible but that's not the case here because this is a um, chemical peeling solution so you got to be careful with those kinds because you can really really damage your skin. The next couple of products that I got are from e.l.f. I actually ordered them from uh, the e.l.f. website. Now I keep doing these videos on Instagram about e.l.f. and their fucking packaging you guys. I literally got three three items the other day and I got them in a box like this big like it was so big everything that I have here could have fit in that box and then some and I'm just so freaking tired of brands using boxes that are way too big for the products that they're sending like this could honestly have been in an envelope with the little uh bubble wrap inside and I would have been happy with that but brands really need to start realizing how big their packaging is and how wasteful and just annoying it is a lot of people don't know but some places you have to pay for recycling and it's just it gets a lot when you have a lot of big boxes anyways so the things that I got from elf are mostly newer products the first thing I got is the elf luminous putty primer now 
Now, I actually have the regular putty primer and it's not really like oh my god type of product for me. I don't feel like it really does much except hydrate my skin. It doesn't do too much for my pores that I've noticed. It does shrink them just a smidge, but not enough to my liking. So I actually prefer more pore filling types of um, primers like the NYX pore filler. It does say hyaluronic acid in it. And so I'm hoping that because it's luminous, it's a little bit more hydrating. Y'all know I have that dry skin. And so I'm really excited to try this because the first one, it's hydrating, but it's not as hydrating to my liking. I know they also came out with a matte one, but you guys know I do not like being matte. So I went ahead and got the luminous putty primer the next two things i got are these little bite size eyeshadow palettes i have been eyeballing these for a while now except these two were out of stock and so i had to wait for them to come back into stock my thing lately is i've noticed that i do not have like any purple eyeshadows which is crazy because purple is actually one of my favorite colors and um that's why i got uh this little purple guy here this is the acai you uh palette and then i have the what is this rose water palette and i am just a sucker for any type of rosy tone uh, eyeshadows blushes all that good stuff the next elf product I have is the seriously satin lipstick so I got the shade in nectar and now that I'm looking at it it's a little too orangey for my taste I'm actually wearing a lipstick today that I'm very uncomfortable with because it's a little too orange for my liking I am really curious like I think I'm just gonna open this right now and see what kind of color it is because it looks very very orange and it did not look this orange online so here is the lipstick and it's just in like a really simple plastic packaging you can see everything which i kind of think is really cool there's no smell it's got that like weird um lipstick smell if you will so i'm just gonna go ahead and swat Ooh, this is really really creamy this is actually a lot more orange than what I'm wearing today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that down because I, I'm just really not into um, orange lipsticks. I just cannot get myself to be comfortable wearing them um, again, except for today, just because I don't know, I feel like it brings the look together. The next couple of products I have are all from Essence because I love their mascaras. So I went and got three different types of mascaras here. First one I have is the Volume Stylus 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara with my micro styling waxes. If you guys have been watching my videos, you will know that I have been in dire search of a mascara that will hold the curl to my lashes because without the curl, I literally look like I have no lashes because I have those Asian straight lashes. So even with a little bit of mascara, they're never like this. They're always just like this. So it doesn't even look like I have mascara on sometimes. I actually have this in the purple version as well. This is the Lash Extension Mascara. This is like my third or fourth tube. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. I will buy it forever and ever, especially for the bottom lashes. Now with this, I noticed that on most Essence products, they always show you like a brush and this brush is really freaking weird now I'm hoping you guys can see this but it looks like a normal spoolie when you do this but when you turn it over it's curved I don't know if that's supposed to help hold the curl or apply better or what but I'm really excited to try this the next mascara I have from essence is the what the fake volumizing and lengthening mascara I really don't I don't know why but I don't like that name what the fake like I, ah, I don't know this says it has volumizing fibers in it this one does not have a picture of the wand I actually haven't even opened this since I've gotten this okay so this is just a regular wand spoolie and I'm really excited about that because you guys know I do not like silicone applicators I don't even think I've run across any any essence mascaras that have a silicone applicator. All the ones that I bought so far have just been a regular spoolie, which I absolutely love. I'm actually really interested to try this because it does have the lengthening fibers or the voluminizing fibers. And most mascaras that have fibers in them, I really like them as long as they're not the double uh, application where you apply something and then you apply the fibers. Those ones are just a hot mess because the fibers get all over your face, they get in your eyes, and it literally feels like hair in your eyeballs because they're little tiny hair fibers. With the ones that are already in the mascara I don't find that it like you know goes all over the face in the eyeballs and it doesn't create as big of a mess as those uh furry fibers the last mascara I got from essence is the false lashes mascara extreme volume and curl anything with the name curl on it I am just really trying to uh just get my hands on and try out now let's see oh 
this is again the same type of curved brush um, as the uh, volume stylus one. So I don't know if this is supposed to help again hold the curl or whatnot, but hopefully it does. And I'm just really excited to try these two because these are the uh, curl ones. And again, I'm just looking for something that's gonna like, you know, kind of like hairspray, just hold the curl there and let me be on my way. Let me live my life with curled lashes. Last Essence product I have here is the blush. It's literally just called the blush. I thought that this was a gorgeous color. I'm into these rosy mauvey colors and this is in the shade Be Fitting and this is a silky smooth powder blush to awaken your complexion. So um, it's just just a regular blush. Next couple of products I got are from ColourPop. Now ColourPop has come out with a bunch of really cute stuff and I don't know why but I've just been really slow with some of their um, monochromatic palettes. Now the first thing I got here was an empty palette. I saw this and I believe it was on sale for like $10 which to me is a freaking steal because if you guys know the Z palettes they're not really that cheap. This is the Z palette that I own. It's the only Z palette that I own and I have some Juvia Place um, single shadows in here. This Z palette I think cost $15 I want to say. I honestly don't remember because I've had this for so long. This ColourPop one cost $10 and look at the size the difference. Like the size difference is just it's it's there. Like this one's way bigger. It was way cheaper. I just couldn't not get this empty palette because I just I don't know. I love the roses and these are actually embossed. You can feel the roses and um the texture and I just think that this is really really cute. It's a really cute empty palette. The one thing that I don't really like that I don't feel goes with this palette is the cheetah print. Don't get me wrong, I love animal print, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it should have just been um, like roses. Now this is from, well, it's not really from, well, it is ColourPop. It's from Fourth Ray Beauty, which is their beauty line. And I got the rosehip oil, simple rosehip oil. The only reason why I got this is because I'm done with my ordinary rosehip oil. And after about, I don't know, when I was about done with it, it started smelling like regular cooking oil, like vegetable oil. And to me, that's just, I don't want to be putting anything that smells like vegetable oil on my face. It might have like gotten expired. I don't know, but I stopped using that and it's basically empty. Um, I've been using it for so long and it's really helped with the texture of my skin with the acne and the dryness and just hyperpigmentation and any of the like dimples that I used to have, like acne dimples. Anyways, ColourPop recently came out with this and I am just really interested in trying um, the fourth grade beauty products. Here is the little bottle and it is so freaking cute. It's very simple and I'm just really excited to see if their oils are as good as any other oils. I smelt this yesterday and it doesn't smell like vegetable oil. So that's basically all I'm really, really looking for is something that doesn't smell like pure cooking oil. Oh, you guys, my hair is doing some kind of thing today. And I just like everything is just shitty. Like my skin is shitty. Uh, my hair is shitty. Nothing wants to cooperate with me today. And so I'm just today I'm just really struggling. All right. So I have two more ColourPop items here and they are the monochromatic palettes. I love these palettes so much. I actually have the yellow and the blue monochromatic palette. Also, they were on sale. They were $9 as opposed to uh, normal pricing, which is $12. I have just really been into greens lately. As you can see, I'm wearing green today. This is not the ColourPop palette that I'm wearing. I'm wearing the uh, Mega Revolution Forever Flawless one. And I just am so into greens lately. I woke up one day, I saw the sale on ColourPop and then I was like, why do I not have this green palette? So um, I decided to get it because I just love the colors in here. The only reason why I didn't get the purple palette is because the Lilac You a lot and I can't remember the other name of the other purple one. They're not really like purple, purple palettes. There's some pinks mixed in there and glitters. When I say I want purple, I want like a purple palette. What really pissed me off is when um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe came out with their palette. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous, but I do not support Morphe because they are not cruelty free. I also am not a really big supporter of Jaclyn Hill because of the way she's handled things and the way she's lied to her customers and all that other stuff. I'm not even gonna get into that because that's just a bunch of like weird YouTube drama that just doesn't even need to be talked about anymore. I want a palette like that from a different brand. So something that is a lot of purple, even with Jeffree Star's uh, Bloodlust palette, I was very underwhelmed by that because it wasn't what I was expecting. Anyways, the other ColourPop uh, monochromatic palette I got was Blowing Smoke. When I saw this, it just brought me back to high school. Like these were the colors that I used 
all throughout high school, I was that goth girl with the piercings and the black hair and the black clothes. And so it was just, I don't know, it just took me back. And I absolutely love this palette. Like just the shades in here, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the grays, the blacks, the shimmers, everything. And the fact that they threw in a white is like, I love that. And so I'm really excited to try just these two palettes. I know that they're going to perform amazing because ColourPop always does amazing on these, especially with the other two monochromatic palettes that I have. They have not let me down with the blendability, the pigment, all that, because we all know ColourPop got it down. The last but not least product that I got during my shopping haul is something that I have just, I don't know what the hell I've been doing. I slept on it for a really long time. It's probably been a year since this thing has been released. I think, I think it's been a year. I finally got my hands on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. This is something I have been eyeballing since it came out. I don't know why I didn't get it during the first launch. I don't know why I didn't get it during the second restock. I believe this is like the third restock that Jeffree Star has done, but I have it. It's here in my hands. The packaging is just as amazing and beautiful as I expected it to be. And I am not disappointed by this like at all. This is just simply beautiful. This is a lot more heavier than I was expecting. Like I knew it was gonna have some weight to it, but you could really do some damage to someone with this. Look at it. It is just so fucking beautiful. Like I just, ugh, I love this palette so much. I have also really, really been searching for a red eyeshadow. When I say red, I mean red. Red eyeshadows are really, really hard to show up on camera or in pictures because they always look some kind of pink or fuchsia or like off red. It's always something other than red. I'm just really happy that I finally have it. I was going to buy it off of Jeffree Star's website on the uh, restock, but then I realized he charges like 10 fucking dollars for shipping. And I was like, girl, I'm not going to pay $10 in shipping. So I just went on, um, is it Beauty Bay or Beautylish? Whichever one that he sells his palettes on. I went on there and it was free shipping and um, I got my palette. I think I'm going to do my first cake and bake with this palette because um, whenever I, you know, smoke and stuff, I get a little bit more creative and I really want to do some creative things with this. It looks like a VHS. Like it literally reminds me of putting a uh, VHS back into its packaging and I just oh, I just love Jeffree Star products you guys like they are just so beautiful so well made so that is all for my shopping haul um I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about what I'm going to be doing in my future videos I recently actually started um to be on Reddit it's really weird because years ago I was on Reddit and it was just literally all reading threads no pictures no nothing I started Reddit like two or three days ago and it's looking a lot like Instagram you can post pictures you can post videos you can post all kinds of stuff on there I've been noticing a lot of people on Reddit who post pictures of like their makeup looks and stuff a lot of them have hooded eyes and I'm, it really got me excited to see that because as a hooded eye girl, I don't see a lot of that like at all. Even when I type in the hashtag hooded eyes into Instagram, none of them have quite the hooded eyes like I do where they're very, very hooded. And so when I saw that, and I saw a lot of these um, women and men asking like, how can I make this better with hooded eyes? Like, you know, my hood always gets in the way. I can't really do a cut crease very well because of my hooded eyes. And so when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I need to kind of like step away from the reviews and stuff a little bit. And I want to put more looks out there for people who have hooded eyes like me who struggle a lot with just doing simple uh, makeup looks, simple everyday makeup looks because their eyes are hooded. Like you guys don't even know half the struggle if you don't have hooded eyes like it is really really tough to do cut creases it's tough to do halo eyes it's tough to do anything because you always have this extra thing just hanging down and just ruining everything every time I do a cut crease and I'm like doing my cut crease and you know really getting into it and then I look up my cut crease just disappears. And so to me, that's really like disheartening because no one can actually see your eye look unless you're like looking down or like looking on your phone or whatever. And so I really want to help those people out there. Like I'm not saying that those people will see my videos, but it just made me realize how many people out there actually have hooded eyes and how many of them are struggling to do just a regular makeup look because they have hooded eyes. From here on out, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials. I'm going to be gathering like my eyeshadow palettes that I do have and just creating looks with them. So like the new palettes that I got from ColourPop or the Jeffree Star palette, I'll take this palette and I'll probably do like a natural look with it and then a neutral look, maybe a glam look, I don't know. But I want to do more tutorials. I just want to share with you guys um, some blending tips, makeup tips, things that have to do more 
with makeup rather than just sitting here and sharing with you guys like this is what I got you know this is what I'm trying out basically I just want to do a lot more eyeshadow tutorials or like makeup looks I know I was blobbing it a little bit we got a little bit off topic there but I just kind of wanted to let you guys in on my thoughts and what I've been you know what's been going on on this head and what's been cooking up there all right you guys so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos and as always if you have any tips tricks questions comments or if you simply want to talk shit leave it on the comment section below and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye